We're calling this Outside the Actors Studio, and uh, we're <laughs> here with uh, Taylor Hill, who wrote, produced, and also stars in the mock documentary Leap for Your Life, which is screening at the Vancouver International Film Festival. Are you ready to see some very great dancing? This will be the studio's 10th year in the Leap for Your Life competition, and there is not a doubt in my mind that we are going home with a grand prize. This year we have Hillary, who is definitely the star of my group. Sit up straight and cross your ankles, dear. You look like a hooker. <laughs> and then there's Molly. Molly just really fills up space, if you know what I mean. Ms. Ann even said I'm the anchor of the jazz group, and that much put me in the back. What? I don't want to tell you, but I'm so excited. I know. I have a great day. Tell me about the braces. They're really spectacularly horrible. <laughs> Um, well, my dad actually made them for me. Um, when I wrote the character in mind, I really wanted her to be very dorky, and I really wanted braces, and when I asked my dad, he's like, we could definitely do that for you. So um, they're kind of the same braces that Ugly Betty uses, the same uh, style, and they were a lot of fun to use, yeah. Could you take them off at the end of every day? Yes, so I could just pop them in and out. They're just like retainers. Now, I have to think that this is probably not the best advertisement for your dad's dental practice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he did my teeth, and they're nice. But yeah. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's a good sport about it then. Oh, yeah, he's so supportive. He actually did the crafty as well, and mm -hmm. my whole family was super supportive in the whole making of Leap. Mm -hmm. And uh, how did you come, tell me about the genesis of the idea? Do you have a dance background? I do. I used to be a dancer, and I always thought, a dance competition would be really funny for a mockumentary and I've always been obsessed with like Christopher Guest films like Best in Show and Waiting for Guffman and uh, one day I was just kind of tired of waiting around because uh, I'm an actor and for someone else to tell me to be creative and my mom told me I should just write and then we kind of came up with the characters on the spot and I wrote it with all my friends in mind and thankfully they said yes and yeah it kind of just happened from there. Now did you let your cast go off book? Did you do improvising in the... Uh... We did. I mean we had such great casts who were so funny. Um, a lot of it is scripted but as an actor, I think it's important uh, to improv and to really explore your characters. And I think those were really the like special moments. Uh, we have like Peter Benson and Dave Collette, who are phenomenal um, improv actors, and we just let them have some fun. And I think we kept a lot of those moments in the film. Um, tell me about getting into the festival. Was it? Was it? Uh, I mean. Does, does that is it, is it like a big break or? Oh my gosh, I was so excited. I couldn't really believe when I got the um, email. I, I called my mom instantly and we were like both ecstatic, especially because it's a made in Vancouver film. The whole cast and crew volunteered their time and they're all from Vancouver. So I think it's just like such a great, um, a great place that we can show the film, have a big party with our cast and crew. And I love Vancouver Film Festival and I'm just, I'm so excited. 